Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the Sphinx BD Craft Texture Pack for Tekkit. So you're going to have to go ahead and download the normal one, and you're also going to have to te download the Tekkit version of it. So you're going to go to bdcraft.net, and this is the Sphinx website. Uh, this is the most one of the most popular skin or uh, texture packs in the whole Minecraft. Most people use it. Most people use it on YouTube. Um, it's very uh, kind of cartoonish but it definitely gives it a, a more of a feel you, you feel like you're playing a different game after you get it it's very nice very easy on the eyes and it's highly recommended so you're gonna have to go ahead and you can either download the snapshot version or the 1.2.3 so I highly recommend the 1.2.3 version you just pretty much go to get it and you come down here and you can decide on which which uh, pixel width you want per block but the 64 seems to be the best. Normally the uh, default texture pack is in 32. But the 64 is about twice the graphics of it. And it makes it look a lot nicer. And plus it won't lag it up as much as the higher end ones will be. So you're going to have to go ahead and download the MC 1.3.2. So you click on that. We have to wait through the ad fly, which is about 5 seconds, which isn't that bad. They get money off of this, so they can actually share it with us instead of us donating every time or paying for it. So you skip the ad, wait for it to download, you save file. Let's see it's saving. Remember remember which version you got, the 64 is what I recommend. Um, so then you exit out of that, and then once you're done with that, you can just type in tech it up in the search here. And once that loads up, you just want to click on the first one. There's the one that says 128.64, tech it SMP for 2.1.1 and 3.0.3. Pretty much the same thing, and it just shows you, uh, you know, Tech It with Duncan was the first one to use it. That's when I started using it, um, and then the rest of the Yogg's cast soon follow just because it's so visually appealing. So you just want to scroll down to the bottom, and it says the downloads right here. And remember which version you did for the pixels per block was the 64, so you're going to have to download that one. Just click on that, and you're going to have to click on the download right here, and you're also going to want to save that. So, once those two are downloaded, you can exit out of this. You can even leave the BD Craft website. You don't need to go back there. Right, and then you're going to do open containing folder, and you're going to take both of those and put it on your uh, desktop. And you can exit out of this. So, what you should have is the TechIt Pure BD Craft one, the normal one you would use for your regular Minecraft. If you want to make a copy of that and put it in your normal Minecraft, uh, texture pack folder you can do that or if you want to just uh, do this you can do that so what you need to do is open both of them make sure you have uh, WinRAR now the version where you want to keep is the regular version okay so you want to take everything from the Tekkit version the one that says Tekkit SMP you wanna take all those and bring them over like that and you just hit okay so everything's over there now so you can just exit out of that. Your second one you don't need anymore. You can delete it, do whatever you want with it. I'll probably just delete it. Yes. Your recycling bin. So now you just have this left. Now you just need to go to your your whatever you want to call your computer. Make sure you have you can see all data. A way to do that is you can just go into your control panel. You can go into uh I think, I believe it's uh, appearance and personalization, and then show files, and make sure you show all hidden files right here, make sure you have this circle checked. And then you have, um, then you should be able to see all your files, so then when you click on your name of your computer or your uh, user name, you can see app data. Then you go to lo uh, roaming. Then for the tech it, normally you would go to the Minecraft if you wanted the regular Minecraft version of just texture pack. But for Tech It, you just go in the Technic Launcher, and you hit Tech It, and then you go to Texture Packs. And then everything that you dragged over in here in the normal one, just pop it in there, and you should be good to go. So then you just launch Tech It through your Technic Launcher, log in, now you'll, you'll normally be using the default, or if you have one already, you'll be using that. 
You know, just give it a second. Tech it actually takes a little bit longer to start up than normal Minecraft, and it takes a little bit of time to switch over from your um, texture pack to use. So you use texture packs, you switch onto the Sphinx Pure BD Craft 64 bit. Um, that's the zip file you just put in that folder. Like, pretty much when you select on that, you just go into the texture pack folder, and you just hit done. And just give a little bit, it's loading around. The whole texture pack interface is gonna change, and every time you launch Tech It now, it will launch with this. So that, that this is a different startup. It's kind of interesting. Uh, and then you just go to single player, and you can just you know create new world, create new worlds. Just load in, let it build terrain. So this is just uh, to show off the texture pack a little bit. Let's see. It takes a bit. It's got to load a little bit longer. M maybe twice as much just because of the pixel width of it. But, I mean, compared to the other game, I think it looks a lot like a different game. It looks a little bit nicer. There's better graphics. Like, that's a volcano. This is this is tech it, mind you. So, there's a lot of cool things. I mean, the sheeps look cool. You can look at all the, the, the uh, texture before you download it, of course, on their website at bdcraft.net. Um... I'll go ahead and put that link in the description, and uh, thank you for watching. If you like it, subscribe, and uh, I'll try to make some more tutorial videos in the future. Thank you.